Welcome to the Union Football Coaches Show. I'm Rick Corey, along with Union Head Football Coach Kirk Frederick. And, Coach, a trip down to Southmore, uh, not completely out of the question. You've gone to Putnam. It wasn't a lot different. But it was a Thursday night game. Did that change anything? It did. I think that, you know, playing on a Thursday, obviously everything felt normal early in the week, and then it just felt like everything accelerated very quickly on Wednesday as, as coaches are used to having a normal Wednesday, and mm -hmm. then you've got things you have to cover on Thursday. And, uh, there was lots of it felt a little bit rushed uh, heading into that Thursday game and and uh, but it was a good change for our kids and after the fact after you get the win it makes for a really long weekend yeah. which is really nice but uh, you know kind of pushing it all into a Thursday is definitely different and you're playing a team with one win I mean, you always hear people say well that's the best one one team I've seen that's the best one win team this, I've seen this time that applies <laughs> without does. a doubt so a lot of talent uh, on the sophomore team, I thought the first year head coach, uh, Coach Stark, did a great job of preparing his team. And uh, to me, they're, they've got size, they've got skill, a uh, lot of youth on the team. Quarterbacks a freshman. There's several. There's a couple other freshmen on the team as well that are playing. I, I think that it's a huge upside. Uh, you know, in the next couple of years, I I think I may have said on the radio. Uh, post game that I'll be trying to petition to get them in the other district for sure but uh, definitely it was a lot of fun to see our coaches adjust the things that took place on the sideline mm -hmm. the adjustments with the de defensive line uh, we fell on some veteran guys you know fell on the defensive line the chance when Gluski those guys to step in uh, the safeties Brandon Golf and uh, Jack Allspaw they made some uh, just some great experienced players making some adjustments with the defense to make it right. And I think you saw once we got in about the middle of the second quarter that, that from then on uh, they had a handle on the offense. Yeah, it changed a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the numbers in this game. And, boy, some of those numbers are eye-popping. There's no doubt about that. Take a look, first of all, at rushing 403 yards. When was the last time you were on a team that did that? Oh, I, yeah, that was so much fun. We, we uh, actually – you know, we try to pick a player of the game on offense, defense, and special teams. And the player of the game this, this week was the whole offensive line. And uh, those guys did an amazing job. Krishan Edwards uh, actually graded out the best out of that whole group. But, you know, a lot of big guys up front doing a great job. Tony Gonzalez, uh, Javin Sonoka came in with Dominic Briggs, went out and did an out outstanding job. So, you know, Kyle Lewis and Davis Harker, those guys, Really, uh, I felt like um, played very well. And uh, anytime, like you said, 400 yards rushing, you really don't need to say much else. But our offensive line was real excited about that. Is there anything when you look at those that you go, nah, need to work on that? Well, I, I, you know, I think uh, we talked over the weekend, we need to do a better job with the deep ball. You know, I think uh, we took some opportunities down the field uh, that we didn't, we weren't able to hit. And I think we, that's obviously a focal point that we need to do. We need to be able to stretch a team. When they've got you manned up on the corners, you need to be able to hit a couple of those to, to make them pay for that. But, you know, when you're running the ball that well, it's hard to throw the ball down the field. Just keep giving it to Tyler and Shamari. Those guys did a great job. And defensively, they had 306 yards. Southmore did at the half, at the half, and finished with only 88 yards. More than that, really kind of crunched things down in the second. Well, I felt like, you know, at halftime, obviously, we were able to refocus our kids. And we challenged them a little bit. There wasn't any, you know, uh, huge fiery halftime speech besides just, hey, refocus, you know, pay attention, remember who you are and play football like we play. And, and I think our defense came out and set that tone early on that third quarter. Well, it's a very, very fun football game to watch. When we come back, we'll see the first half highlights. A football game begins when the track meet breaks out. That's coming up next on the Union Football Coaching Show. No matter how you play or work, or live. Life sometimes throws you a curve. At Eastern Oklahoma Orthopedic Center, we help you get back to playing, working, and living your life. EOC, Tulsa's finest and most experienced provider of sports medicine care for over 30 years. Visit us at EOC.com. It's no secret that Oklahoma schools have their challenges. We all want to help our schools excel, and TTCU has a great way to get involved. Right now, when you open a TTCU checking account with the School Pride Visa check card, you'll get $50, and so will your school. Each time you swipe, they donate. So far, they've given nearly half a million dollars to local schools. Together, we can make a real difference for our kids. Cash for you and your school? Check at TTCU. 
Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Rick Corey along with Kirk Frederick, the head coach of the Redskins. Let's get right into the highlights. First half Union against Southmore, and it's an entertaining first half of football, Coach. It sure is. You know, you obviously don't expect, you know, you know they have athletes. We talked to our kids about uh, getting out there and, and being prepared because this is not a, a one in five team. You know, good look here as Union runs out in their red pants with the white jerseys and the silver helmets. I like that look. That's kind of changing it, it does. Up. Yeah, it does change it up a little bit. Come early on, we give uh, the outside zone play here to Tyler. Guys block well, get a lot of yardage early on. We miss a block and, and uh, puts us in a third down situation. Come back and we just about connect there to uh, McQueen. Uh, their defense does a nice job stopping us, so we have to punt the ball away. And then here comes that zone read we talked about. And then remember, this uh, young man's last name is Thompson, the quarterback. Got some pretty good heritage. Uh, he sure does, without a doubt. So, uh, you know, early on, obviously, I, I always hesitate when you play an athletic team, you play a team that is uh, very skilled in what they're doing. The scout team doesn't play it just like this. And our guys have to adjust early on. And uh, obviously, we missed a few there. And But you got to credit Southmore had a great plan and come out and, and put points on the board. And that is Casey Thompson, Charles Thompson's son. Come right back again, try to give it to Tyler, try to establish some things up front. What a great block in there by Tony Gonzalez. And Tyler is always keeping his feet moving. You can see him right here, just driving the pile forward. Offensive line, again, played very well, as we talked about. Covered up down the field. Mason scrambles, gets what he can. Uh, don't put us in a long yard situation. Come back, nice throw and catch to the outside there. Gets us in a fourth and real short. Come back and again, guy just never stops. Gets behind those big guys up front and uh, finds some open crease and finishes it off. And the speed again, he shows you a little explosion right a lot there. Of, there's a lot of speed on the field right now for both teams and you can see great block inside there by LT. Came in at tight end a few times the other night. Uh, Lorenzo Thomas and those guys doing a nice job, but all of that after a huge catch by Holton Fox there on third down. Back to work defensively. Defensively, get a big stop on them. Got to cover the, the sprint out here. And uh, fortunately for us, they misconnect. We bust a little coverage and uh, they weren't able to do that. You see Chance coming in with pressure to the outside. And what a great play there by Io. Io comes in, they complete the pass, but always challenging the catch. Defensively, still pushing the, pushing the pocket, trying to contain. Now you got to wrap that guy up, and you can see our defensive line getting there, and then both the inside linebackers there, uh, with Shade and Mish coming in to finish it off. Now we've come back with Shamari to the outside. A lot of speed, a lot of quickness to get to the outside. Unfortunately, um, we we're holding just a little bit there, so we've got to bring that ball back. They're chipping away at it. Great protection down the field and just off the mark. You know, that, that game, that, that play probably was intended to be incomplete. We had two receivers real close to each other. I thought their defensive secondary did a good job of, of, of challenging our routes. And, uh, but fortunately, we we're able to come back on a long yardage situation and complete a pass to Holton Fox. Another couple of good plays there. Mason reading the secondary. Zone replay, we went in there. Obviously, you want to keep the ball inside, not try to bounce it. Later on, he corrects that and, and gets a nice run out of it. But as you said, he always gets what he can. Without a doubt. And here a little more. <laughs> There's a little bit more, another fourth and short. I think we caught him off guard with a quick uh, quarterback sneak. You'll see what a great angle. Gets right behind Davis. Davis, uh, I believe it was on this play, he said, all of a sudden I looked up and I was blocking the safety. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's pretty good push by an offensive lineman. Defense still struggling a little bit. We're just missing a few angles, a few fits, and uh, you got to credit Southmore. They're doing such a great job of, uh, of running that zone read attack. And what you said is so true. You just can't do what they do in practice. You can kind of get the look, but not the game speed. DeAndre Graham comes up, makes a nice play, and Kyle, you just can't got to get a handle on that guy. And I'm telling you, he's pretty dangerous. And, and uh, I'm glad that they're off, you know, we're finished with him for this year for sure. Yeah, he's only a freshman too. They get the ball outside. Jack Allsfall hanging on. Does a nice job to, to close that run out, keep it from being a big play. Here we are, we miss again with the, with the fits. And uh, they're right, right back to work on it. And the track game continues. 
One of those guys you love people to kick to, and that's Trey Brown. Uh, he's got a lot of speed, does a great job, really made a nice cut. Our kickoff return unit does a great job to get us to midfield, try to take a quick shot, and uh, just off the mark just a little bit. And, um, you know, those are things that I talked to you about uh, before the show that we need to correct to make things better. Mason does a great job. You talk about we can run the same plays. I think yep. it's, it's basically what it was. And you come back here, even fake the camera out. Good job with the uh, camera angles we have. And you can see Mason has a lot of speed. So deceptive with the speed that he has. Yeah, he just, you know, he's a shorter to the ground guy, and it doesn't always look like those legs are moving, but they are. Without a doubt. Love the way that Ramsey uh, played that defensive lineman there. Cordell Ramsey did a great job of, there he is with pressure again, uh, playing the, the read play and brings pressure on the quarterback. Cordell's a senior for us and playing very well. And this is where I thought you really started to get after Thompson and tire him out a little bit. He took some shots. He, with, he sure did. Without a doubt, our defensive line continues to play well. Comeback chance just misses the quarterback on the edge. Tough guy there to, to wrap up. And, and uh, fortunately for us, we're able to get him on the ground. They hit us a couple times on this play here, and uh, they missed on one of them. And what it's a great design play and something our, our uh, secondary had to to respond to something we hadn't seen, and uh, they do a really nice job. Get the ball out to Robert on the edge. Got a nice block there by Ryan Rawlings, senior wide receiver. Coming back across the field, trying to make the defense play all 53 yards across the field, and, and uh, giving the ball to Robert, letting him run with it, it's a good thing. Yeah, he is so tough, too. You're going to watch him a little bit later on. He and Tyler both just trucked that poor safety. <laughs> Come back inside. Running really nice job there with the power play. Uh, there they are. There's Javin again. Talked about how well he played. What a key, crucial block Javin had. And uh, we get the ball. It was interesting. I thought he went down on the one. And so we quickly call the quarterback sneak. And I look down and see it's on the four-yard line. Concerned, but without a doubt, our, <laughs> our offensive line just pushes him in the they, Yeah, in they the drove everybody back. That was really fun to watch. Great job running the boot play for Southmore. Uh, we defend it very well, and uh, I'm telling you, it's a tough thing to handle there. Love the way that our guys are continuing to fight and come across and, and make plays uh, against, their, uh, against their offense that was executing so well. You're starting to see our defense recognize and, and do a better job with it. A little volleyball right there. You see him take a hit. Here's one of the one, first ones yep, Thompson took. There's Chance coming in, doing a good job with it. Get the swing pass out there. Shamari makes the first guy miss, picking up positive yards. Here's Shamari coming in again. Does a nice job, continuing to, to battle. Got a big block in there by Holton Fox. Come back here with the fake just across there and just about had, had uh, Holton there on the drag route and they forced us to punt. Poor tackling on the edge. Our guys have got to do a better job with that. You see Terrell Buchanan playing linebacker coming in, doing a nice job with it. There's Malon. I think he's had enough of it. You know, those defensive linemen are frustrated chasing, and they get a hold of somebody. They really want to take it out on them. And they and they are. I mean, you got to be tired chasing this guy around. Here comes Malon again. And what that's a the shot, huge yeah. hit. And after I mean, that one, he came off the sidelines with this kind of a funny golly, look on his face. That, that right there is American football. Come back uh, on offense. There's Tyler again, big blocks. You love when you see guys like Kyle Lewis burying their guy right next to the running back as the, the big push is taking place. <laughs> That's the one, one of the ones I'm talking about. And that poor kid got it two or three times like that. Without night. a doubt. Our guys, you know, we, we had a few injuries, some guys going out during the game, and it took us a while for our kids to adjust because uh, there's such great chemistry and, um, you know, our guys are a little bit emotional. They see some of their, their buddies getting hurt and, coming out of the game, and I think they, they took a lot of resolve into it as we finished the half. It's Mason, again, trying not to make a mistake. Really liked the way that he handled that going into the half, and we regrouped just a little bit going, getting ready for that third quarter. Yeah, and you always tell a guy, every possession ends with a kick. Extra points preferred, field goes okay, and a punt, and that's not bad. But he made the right decision. He really did. You know, being able to, to uh, go 100% in the red zone was key. For us, I think we were five for five in the red zone. Made a huge kick you'll see in the second half by Jace Holt. And he started to punt the ball a little bit better. But all in all, a much better second half. But 
sure was an entertaining for the for the fans and for the radio in that first uh, couple of quarters. It was a little bit like arena ball, but you're going to see it kind of settle down into American football, as Kirk said. We'll have the second half highlights when we come back on the Union Football Coaches Show. We know our customers come to us for different reasons. There are some who need banking on their time. For others, it's not when they bank, but where. Then there are those who take their banking wherever they go. From big moves to small favors, we recognize the needs of our customers, and now they've recognized us again. For the third year in a row, Arvest ranked highest in customer satisfaction with retail banking in the Southwest region by J.D. Power & Associates. Switch today and get the customer service you deserve, only from Arvest Bank. Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Kirk Frederick along with me, Rick Corey, the voice on the radio, and we're here to talk about Union and Southmore. Now, we saw a first half that was back and forth like this. Things are going to change here in the second half. Yeah, I was excited to see, especially the way we started that third quarter. We've challenged our kids a few times. You see Seth Mishler step up and make a great play at linebacker on the first down, and, and just the way our defense came out and really did a nice job early on of putting them in a bind and, and – uh, keeping them on there in the field. I think, I'm not real sure they crossed the 50 in this third quarter, so they did a really nice job defensively. Keeping him contained, putting pressure. Spain again with a huge hit. Uh, just a tremendous play. You can see there, um, Adrian Lewis containing the quarterback, not letting him roll out in the direction he wanted to go, and Malon finishes it off, and even got an intentional grounding on the play. A lot of Redskins chasing the guy right now. Come back offensively, got great field position. We want to do something with it. We, we come out, we are, we're at, trying to establish a little bit of the running game early on in the third quarter. So we put a tight end in the game and, and uh, really had a lot of fun uh, running the football up front. Good old student body left, student body right. That's right. Throw back, try to hit them deep here on something and just off the mark again. And uh, we've got to be able to connect on some of those. We don't. But we come out and hit a nice 38-yard field goal. Jace Holt, we got Spencer Shores. It's really been really nice to have a deep snapper you can count on. You've had for a few years. Spencer Shores does a great job, and Jesse starts on the hold. Defense again, back to work. There's LT chasing him out of bounds. There, that's the play I'm talking about right there. Defensive line, um, understanding, hey, how to set up, be square in the hole, and did a nice job. Malon did a great job with that. Yeah, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do, especially against a cat like that. Come back to work here. You can see right now we got uh, Trell Buchanan in, a third tailback of the night. Yeah, he it, doesn't look like a third tailback. No, he, uh, he runs angry at the ground, as we say. Come back and, and try to hit, hit him underneath. And I'm not, you know, that was one of those deals, I think uh, he threw it at the line of scrimmage. And, uh, uh, but they called us beyond the line of scrimmage on that. And so you know, we, have the, we have the ability to, to look back at, at uh, video and the official stone. Love seeing those Redskins. There's tons of them around. Yeah, the just count the numbers of guys. Carry. It's easier to count the ones that aren't there. Love the way Adrian Lewis continues to play. Uh, always around the football, doing a great job. Love the pressure there. And what a key interception. Come back inside there. He looked like he was running like a rugby player, and he plays rugby in the spring. So you see uh, Seth there getting some yards after the big interception. Come right back to work. See Terrell Buchanan in there, fighting hard, trying to get down to the end zone. And we're, we'll just line up for another quarterback sneak. And there he goes. And, you know, again, with a, with a kind of a low center of gravity, he gets in there down behind that center, and it's hard to get a blow on him. I think he finished with five touchdowns on the night, so <laughs> That's not a bad night. he'll have a drawer full of candy bars. Yeah. A lot of punishing hits going in there. I.O. with a huge hit. Uh, those holes aren't quite there like they were in that first half. Yeah, Defensive line, linebackers doing a really good job. Come back with the screenplay. Trev Buchanan just came out of nowhere, made a nice play from linebacker position. They bobbled the snap. I'm not real sure they intended to, to fake this, but they bobbled the snap on it. They did a nice job. Uh, speedy receiver there. 
catching the football at, at the punting position and, and pick up the first down. Io with a nice leg tackle, keeping it from getting too much. I think that was Malon again on the big hit, and then of course Trey there on the defense. Chasing the quarterback down the field. He does a nice job, throws a good ball. Huge block inside right there. You saw Shamari uh, on the leading, uh, the outside play there. And, and uh, so we come back and hit Shamari underneath. Does a nice job, again, carrying the ball down the field. There's Tyler again. What a great cut uh, inside. You see a lot, of, a lot of offensive linemen still on their feet down the field blocking, not laying on the ground. You know those guys are athletic and they're, they're playing very well. I mean, you go with two backs like you were right there, you really create some issues. A lot, a lot of fun to put two, two of those guys out there and, and see what they can do. Come back and obviously give the ball inside there to Tyler and, and uh, big blocking up front. I think we just got tired of, of giving touchdowns to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to Mason there on the, and, and called his own play instead of a sneak. And now you can really see the Union defense starting to wear these guys down. Start, the steps aren't quite as fast, yeah. the cuts is sharp and just lots of punishing hits. You saw Terrell there finishing off a big play. See lots of guys, DeAndre Graham playing at corner. Uh, you know, we had to play Trey Summit at the receiver and DeAndre came in and did a great job for us. Here's one of those plays, a young sophomore, you just want to say, man, great job. Let's, let's fit when the game's over, I mean, when the run's over, let's let it have, have it, uh, let's finish off the run and not be crazy and do, try to do something silly with the football. Shamari again running very tough. You can see inside. And got both hands on it. <laughs> both hands on the ball. I still think uh, we have a lot of patience and trust with him. And uh, I still think he's going to be really good and just has had a trouble with, with the ball the last couple of games. What an amazing catch. Amazing catch here. Good throw to the outside. And you love seeing the way that, that uh, Robert comes in one handed and catches that ball for a touchdown. Yeah, it looks like he had a big old baseball mitt on. They complete a ball down the sideline, coming back and going into the fourth quarter here. There's Adrian again, um, starting to get a chance to play some guys um, out there and, and love seeing some guys flying around, making plays. Javon Elliott with the pressure, quarterback has to step up. And uh, I'm telling you, what a dangerous athlete he is. You gotta give him credit because he is still out there and, the, and he took a pounding. If there's a hot tub player, it's him. Without a doubt. Rico in there making a big play at defensive line. You got Lee Barnes uh, in there making some big plays. Love seeing those guys and, and uh, just lots of tenacity and pursuit as you see our guys coming through and, and continuing to, uh, to make plays. Ricky Rivera on a big stop and we're back to work. And, you can see as we're trying to finish off the, the fourth quarter, Terrell comes in and, and uh, almost looks like they don't want to tackle him as he runs the football and continues to play tough. Well, yeah, I'm sorry to say, would you? I mean, the way he's <laughs> running, I'm not sure anybody wants There's to. Some guys at Kell, Kellen Stouter in there at offensive uh, uh, tackle with a big block inside. Mark Gardner there with the big play. Love seeing the, the reach block outside there. Great job by our offensive line that continues to play well, even though you know a couple of those guys you know, our younger guys, a couple of them a little bit older guys, but they're still playing with a lot of passion and love that play right there is my favorite one. It's everybody's favorite play in football. It's the uh, let's get this thing over with play. you got to think their defense are going, this is your third tailback. <laughs> the way Terrell runs, but he's playing some defense too, doing a lot of stuff for him. He, he really is. And, uh, you know, coming back into the fold and uh, trying to find a place to help our team. And I think that you know, his dual role that he played the other night is a good place to start. Get the best guys on the field. That's all there is to it. When we come back, we'll talk about this coming week. Eh, not bad. Owasso comes into town. This should be a lot of fun. We'll do it next on the New Football Coaches Show. School is starting. There isn't a better way to show school spirit than by wearing clothes from the u -wear store. Located next to the stadium inside the UMAC, the Union u -wear store has everything you could ask for. Football season is here, and every Union fan needs some gear to show school spirit. From winter wear, to spirit gear, to everyday items. There's no going wrong at the u -wear store. So come on down to the u -wear store and show your school spirit. Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show. Kirk Frederick, the head coach of the Redskins. I'm Rick Corey, and now it's time for Up Close and Personal. Some great shots of a great win. Uh, without a doubt, we, 
you know, when you travel, you, you always take for granted that uh, uh, somebody's going to capture this shot, and it's always Vic, but man, the pictures he comes back with are just tremendous. You can see a great one here with the defensive line wrapping up the tailback. What an outstanding uh, shot that is. Start with the offensive line. Love seeing those three seniors. Well, four, you get Holton Fox involved there with Krishan and Briggs and Harker and Holton. What a great job. DeAndre Graham, uh, we missed commenting this exact play in the in the uh, video, but the, what a great shot by DeAndre. Great tackle for him. Uh, senior corner making a big hit. Another senior, Mason Farquhar, uh, on the zone read keep there that he had and, and uh, sp actually splits those two guys as he runs into the end zone. So you got a sophomore and a junior right there. You got Jesse Starks holding, and you got uh, Jace Holt on the big kick. Love seeing those guys in there executing uh, the field goal. Another young guy right there. You got Brooks, you got Shamari. Uh, Sham Wow is what I call it. <laughs> and uh, making a nice run. There's the other side of that line. That's a lot of fun to see. You get Kyle Lewis, the opposite side of that offensive line there, and Tony Gonzalez, of course, Holton Fox. Uh, in on the big play. There's Seth Mishler, junior linebacker, uh, after the interception and uh, continuing to make plays. There's Malon in, the, in on the play there and you got Chance and Glusky in there making a nice stop. Uh, early on we talked about how that defensive line continued to play. Somehow I bet that, that flag didn't get called I right bet there. that flag didn't get called. <laughs> Mark Gardner in there, senior offensive lineman. Uh, kicking out uh, one of their best linebackers we had marked on the scouting report. So, uh, very talented sophomore team. You could see our guys focused in and made a, made big improvements throughout the game. Love what we were able to do going through a, a physical, tough test, especially in that first half. And now, Owasso. I don't think you need to say a whole lot more. Two uh, really good teams. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun in the middle of the season to get one versus two. It was enough as it was because you know, Wasso is a great team that continues to get better and better. Coach Patterson does a great job with mm -hmm. them. Uh, we always look at this game as, as one that uh, gives you at least a leg up in the district race and, and potentially a district championship. Always kind of teeters on this game. Uh, very talented defensive front for sure. and Offense is very tough to kind of handle, but uh, defensively we'll definitely have to be in check to, to be able to stop those guys. And it's going to be fall break. There's no reason not to be there. We'll see you right here next time talking about Union and Owasso and the Union Football Coaches Show.